so let us discuss another example where we are going to wound a cord around a shaft you can call it a shaft a drum or a cylinder okay here we go a force p equals mg over 6 is needed to lower the mass m this is the mass m lower you already know the impending motion suspended via cord making 1.25 tons one turn and then a quarter turn one plus one by four you can say this on the shaft calculate mu between cord and the shaft okay so cord and shaft are in contact with each other what is the coefficient of static friction between them that is what has been asked how to approach such problems and by the way uh, this figure was given to us but it is a bit unclear and that's why i have made this coordinate axis x z axis and this is the y axis so you can clearly see this force p is directed along this positive y axis okay anyway uh to give you a better picture of how the cord has been wound around the shaft let me take a look at this shaft from this side over here okay now this is how the mass has been subtended suspended okay and uh, we are going to wound this cord first half revolution then again half revolution that means one full revolution after that you have to go for a quarter revolution that means 90 degrees only okay so something like this please watch zoom in as much as you can and this is what is going to happen and i'm going to update the angle in radians over here okay take a look once again once again how much sir this is half a revolution half a revolution corresponds to pi radians so i've written it down then another half another half another half another pi radians so one revolution is complete sir we started from this very point we have wound it for one revolution and then a quarter revolution is left sir so just take a look over here quarter revolution quarter revolution so that is pi by 2 full revolution is 2 pi so quarter of that will be pi by 2 i hope you understand this okay and there you need to apply this force p is equal to mg over 6 and this is the force if you want i can make the coordinate axis also this by the way is your z axis and this is going to be your y axis as i told you y axis y axis p along the y axis so damn simple done sir having made this we can go ahead and apply the ratio of tension formula how to do that you already know the impending motion is in this direction so this has got to be the tighter slide what am i saying tighter side okay t i g s t and over here you are going to have the slacker side and by the way the total angle of lap over here is 2.5 pi right slack side and that's the tight side now let's start with the calculation right mg over mg by 6 mg over mg by 6 is equal to e power unknown and then beta happens to be 2.5 radians so damn simple just write it down fair enough okay sir mg and mg will cancel each other out what's left in the numerator will be 6 now how do you solve this you can just punch in the value in a calculator let me show this to you how you can solve it with a calculator uh, 6 uh, is equal to e raised to the power 2.5 pi mu 2.5 pi and mu let us take this as x you just need to solve this shift solve equal to 0 0.22813 that is the answer okay or you can use a bit of logarithms and a bit of algebra also 0 0.228 right that, that's the answer and by the way you can take natural log both the sides and what will happen if we show that process also log 6 base e is equal to log e raised to the power 2.5 pi mu and again base e and you know what uh, this will shift over here this power will become a coefficient and this entire term log e base e will become automatically one okay so this can be written as log base e is basically ln ln 6 is equal to 2.5 pi mu and mu obviously is going to be equal to ln 6 over 2.5 pi just do the math get the value it should be equal to 0.228 and now you also know how to do this with the calculator 
so that will be all for today i'm sure this problem has helped you understand the entire concept of friction in a very easy fashion okay thank you very much